everyone here in this video we're gonna be talking about unfunk unfunk is something which is provided by provided with uh, numpy and what does this exactly mean so this is a combination of two words one is un then func where un stands for universal and func stands for stands for function right so unfunk is nothing but universal function this is provided with numpy and these are the functions like any other function which we have available in python what is the benefit of this function so these are the functions which operates on nd arrays in an element by element fashion right means this will perform a specific function on each of the element in provide in a provided array right so what is the benefit the benefit is this is quite faster than a normal loop which you use to iterate through each of the element now what all this means let me explain you these all things with the help of examples practical examples let me take you to the Jupyter notebook so here to explain this i have created two lists list one which has all these numbers and list two which has all these uh, numbers right now let's say i want to add each element of both of these two lists for list for example i want to five I want to add 5 with 2 and in the final list I want to get 7 similarly for each of the element that means I want the element something like this 7 then 19 then 26 and so on right so this kind of thing I want to produce in the output so how can I do that for that if I have to do it through loop I would do for i j n and what I'll do is I'll zip both of these two lists list one comma list two and then what i can do is i can say let's say let's try to return this okay return uh what we can say is all right let me do it this way okay what we can do is we can say print i plus j okay and here you got that so this is how we will have to do because here we had a small list it was quite faster but in your real life work or in your day-to-day -day job you might get a huge list where it might get slow and it could be difficult to iterate through so that's where unfunk simplifies the job for us how can we do that so here we have just simply imported the numpy and let's say we want to do the same thing without using the for loop how can we do that so for that we're gonna say np dot add right np dot add and in that we're gonna provide list one comma list two and when you do this you get the result now if you want to check whether np dot let me show you what this is right so we're gonna use type np dot add and if you see this it says this add is nothing but unfunk which is universal function in numpy so you see how universal function simplified our work instead of using the loop we simply used the this universal function and it did the same job which we want which we did using loop isn't it now there are many other universal functions and out of those some of the arithmetic function which we are going to use over here are let me like we just saw the addition now if you want to subtract list 2 from the list 1 what you can do is you can say np dot subtract and here you simply say list 1 comma list 2 i'll just copy this so that i'll not have to type it again and again now here you got it here you have the result now keep in mind see first list is 5 15 20 25 2 4 6 8 is the second list right and when you subtract list 2 from list 1 this is what the answer you get N same way you can do it for you know multiplication multiply and you do this you got this result right if you want you can do the power of this thing as well right and p dot you can say power p o w e r and then you can put both of these two lists here you got that okay same way if you want to divide list one with list two that can also be done what you're gonna do is say divide and into that you provide both of these two lists and here you got the result okay when you divide five here five by two you get 2.5 and here is what you are getting right now if you want to find the remainder this is giving you the quotient after dividing this is giving you the quotient if you want to find the remainder then you can do np dot remainder all right and in that you're going to provide both of the two lists 
and here you got the result right you are getting 1 3 2 1 now if you see over here if you divide 5 by 2 so it will be 2 2 sub 4 and you will get the remainder as 1 same happens with the second element now this is doing one by one is there a way that we do the division and we get both of the two things together means the uh, quotient and the remainder both of the two things yes there is a way you can use np dot div mod div mode you can use div mode right and you provide both of these two lists and here you got that so this is the array for quotient and this is the array for you know remainder all right so you got it okay here is the remainder and here is the quotient now this was something which we saw the universal functions which are already created now for your surprise and numpy provides you the facility to create your own function and make that universal function how can you do that let me show it to you i'm just going to give you a very simple example i will just create a function to add two list okay so for that what we're gonna do over here is it can be created in the same fashion as we did in while we were learning the basic python right core python okay that uh, particular video link for that particular video is also given in the description just check that out okay now let's define a function which is called def and i'm going to say it as addition and in that i will be providing two elements and what i want it to return is return x plus y this is what i want it to return now once this is created we need to make it a universal function how can we do that so for that we're going to create a variable addition the same with the same name and we can say np dot from and here you're going to use this function from pi func right this is the function which you're going to use to make it universal function and in that so if you see the argument of this what are the argument that that it takes from pi func it takes the function name then number of inputs and the number of output which you want to produce okay so here the function which we want to include in universal function list is addition which we just created and then the input which we want to supply in this particular function are two two inputs we will be giving right and the output which we want is just one that is it it is created now if you use simply addition and in that if you provide list one and list two this is what you get right it is just simply adding both of these two things 5 to 7 15 4 19 and that's what you got over here and now if just to test it whether it is correct or not what you can do is you can just try np dot sorry let's say type and into the bracket you can say np dot np dot addition let's try this if it is coming or not addition and let's see oops let me do it this way let me put only addition okay here you say here you see it says that numpy dot unfunk right so it has been converted as the universal function though you created this but it is converted as the universal function so i just hope that you understood it right and you liked the concept just in case if you get any kind of doubt put that into the comment section i will definitely get back to you and try to solve that until then happy learning wish you